In this video, I will show you how to create these Roblox Game Pass icons in just a few steps in Photopea by yourself, without having to buy them at an overpriced rate. If you like such videos, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for free. As the first step, open the Photopea website and create a project with a width of 2,000 pixels, a height of 2,000 pixels, and a DPI of 300. Then, create a new layer in the bottom right corner and activate the rulers via the View button at the top. This way, you can start precisely in the center with your respective shape. By the way, if you press CTRL plus mouse wheel, you can move left and right. With Alt plus mouse wheel, you can zoom. Next, we'll create a circle using the Shapes button on the left side. Place it in the center. As you begin to draw the circle, press KTRL and ALT so that the circle remains centered. It should look something like this. Rename this layer to Base and then copy it again and name the new one Border. In the Border layer, remove the fill and add an outline. In my case, I use turquoise with a 25 pixel width. Also, change the position of the border to inside. Next, please add a new layer. Once you've done that, select the brush from the left side. Set the brush size as high as possible and the hardness as low as possible. Change the opacity of the new layer to 51% and the flow to 48%. Then, click on the color button on the left side and choose any color you like. In my case, I choose turquoise. Now, click a few times on the circle to color it in. You can place the color more frequently in the center, creating a gradient effect that is lighter inside and darker outside. Next, add rectangles by right-clicking on the Shape button on the left side. Then, change the angle of the rectangle to 45 degrees. Do this twice. Don't forget to add an overlay effect to the rectangles. If you want to add a pattern, you can download these transparent patterns from the internet, as long as they are free to use. Alternatively, you can use the pattern I provide in the video description. Finally, adjust the layers accordingly so that it ends up looking like this. I've linked the transparent pattern I'm using here in the video description. You just need to add your respective icon or image, and then you're all done. You can also right-click on the Adjustment Layers button and change the color balance. To finish up, you just need to go to the remove.bg website and have the background of your Game Pass removed so you can then upload it without any issues. Just upload the icon for the pass, set a price, and then you're all set.